As most of us already know, it's really important to have a good listening environment to mix and master music. When we talk about a monitoring system of a studio, it's very serious to have a flat frequency response over 20 Hz to 20 kHz range and also a phase aligned speaker system. If you have a small home studio, achieving a flat frequency response is not uh, very easy. The reason is room modes. Room modes make boosts and cancellations in your lower frequency range. Therefore, it's better to use smaller speakers as left and right channels rather than full range speakers. To fill the missing lower range, use a separated subwoofer. This is a typical speaker system with left, right speakers and a subwoofer. As you see, the original signal will split into two parts as are low frequencies and high frequencies by the crossover circuit of the subwoofer. But you have to maintain the same physical distance from the listening position to each speaker to maintain the phase alignment. But still you don't have any manual control to fix the frequency response. I have this Thoman T-Rex DSP 4x4 mini device with me. This can be used to add some additional flexibility to the sound system we discussed. This is a digital signal processor which you can use its features to phase align and correct frequency response of your system. Let's see the capabilities of this device. This is a solid device with a metal chassis which allows you to use this device at uh, any venue. And this has uh, 4 inputs here and 4 outputs. They can route via the controller software by using your computer. You can download the controller software and firmware updates if available from the Thoman official website. And also you will get a 12 volt power cable to power up this unit. And finally you will get USB type A to mini USB cable to connect this unit with your computer. Let's check out the controller software of this device. This is the interface of the controller software of T-Rex DSP 4x4 mini. You can adjust the gain of the each input and output channel at this gain tab. Also you can gate each input and compress each output. Then the delay tab is to add digital delays to each output channel. Next is the matrix tab. You can use the matrix tab to route each input to its outputs. Finally you have 7 band EQ for each output to correct your frequency response and create crossover filters. I'm going to set up a stereo sound system with a separated subwoofer as we previously discussed. But I'm not going to use the crossover circuit of the subwoofer. This is my uh, plan for the setup. I input left, right main outputs of my audio interface or the sound card into input 1 and 2 of my DSP. Then I route my left channel into output 1 and 3 and the right channel into output 2 and 4 via the software of the DSP. Finally, I connect output 1 and 2 into the subwoofer and output 3 and 4 my left and right speakers. I have bit all pair of M-Audio BX5 studio monitors with a MHS 8S subwoofer. My listening position left and right speakers are in an equal distance triangle as you see but my subwoofer is not in the same distance to the listening position as my left and right speakers therefore I have to time align my subwoofer with uh, left and right speakers by using digital delays since I'm sending the same input signal to uh, each my left and right speakers and the subwoofer I have to create my own crossover filters by using the EQ section of the DSP controller software. So let's start the tuning process. 
I used Behringer ECM 8000 as my uh, reference mic and uh, Rational Acoustic Smart Software to uh, analyze and measure the changes of my sound system. Finally, these are the results before and after the correction.